for Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. Will not resonate with every single one of you out there. It is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Leo placement, propensity, energy, shrine, square, degree, whatever, wherever Leo is relevant to you. Personal reading information linked in the description box below, as well as info about the flowers and coupon code if you are interested in that, as well as love specific readings, membership style or individual style, all linked below. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. The reading is aimed for the month of July, but time is elusive. If you are seeing the reading, you are meant to see it. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. One card out, two card out, both major arcanas. What's going on for Leo? Cancer energy could be important to you. Maybe there is a cancer or someone that is um, someone that you used to know. I just heard that song. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. That could be a message for some of you. But someone you maybe moved away from in the past here. Judgment energy is usually final decision, but you moved away from it already, or they're coming towards you. Someone is approaching you, someone is coming towards you, whether it be a person, energy, opportunity, that you will have to make some sort of final decision on. And usually it's something you've already dealt with before, if it's a final decision, right? So you've already made some sort of decision towards this thing previously, it looks like. What else for, for Leo? Ten of pen, I mean cups. Ten of cups. What else for Leo? Let me see if I can tilt this. Oops. If I tilt it down, will you see more? Okay. <clears throat> and then what? Let's move her over so we can do that. Okay. Actually, let's do it like this. Sorry. All right. Three more cards for Leo, please. Ooh, these two flipped out. No, these are the ones that fell out. All right. Ten of Cups. So potential for long-term fulfillment emotionally here. Two tens. So there is something that has definitely completed. Seems like there was something that was unhealthy in your life that you moved yourself away from. Cancer and um, Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Yeah, new, 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 new energy, new passions, new interests. You know, new opportunities, a spark. All on you're on you're on some new shit right now. You don't want to probably not hear anything about anything in the past. Ace of Wands is new energy, new excitement, new you know projects, people, places, things. Just maybe a different taste altogether. Last position, two major arcana, the chariot and the devil card. Cancer and Capricorn energy could be important to you, but there's definitely something you moved away from. Something that was unhealthy. Maybe you had some sort of attachment to it. It could have had an attachment to you, person, place, or thing. Doesn't necessarily have to be um, a person. The devil's also been coming up to me lately as obligation. Situations, people, things, places that we feel obligated to when really we're telling our, you know, the obligation comes from us. It's like loyalty to the, to the detriment, right? With the, with the Capricorn energy, because Capricorn is very, once we say, like we, because I'm a Capricorn, but once, you know, something is made, like we stick to it. Like if we give you our word, even if it's going to kill us to, to continue giving our word, you know. There has to be a lot of self-development there for, the, for, for a, the Capricorn energy to realize, okay, this is unhealthy. Yeah, I told you I'd be like, you know, your girlfriend forever or boyfriend forever, but you're killing me softly and not in a good way, you know? So major, major changes here, major change in direction, major change in mindset. Looks like you moved away from something that was um, either you felt obligated to. So that in turn also creates unhealthy attachment, right? obligation because something should never be an obligation we should always be choosing to be somewhere or in a situation it should never be like i have to do this it should always be a, a willingness like yeah i want to i want to not that i have to i want to that's the energy you want to live life in 
So something got kind of heavy here. Looks like you got rid of it. It was a big decision with all this major arcana. Could have been hard to move away from, but you did it. Looks like it's coming around again though. But with the Ten of Swords here in your present position, Judgment Ten of Swords, final decision. I think this is um, whatever this comeback around is, because this, this chair could also represent this com situation coming back towards you, right? But there will be, you will need to make some sort of final decision again. And this time it will be like the final, final decision because with the Ten of Swords, yeah, you've gotten, you've learned the lesson. There's no repeating this type of cycle for you, whether this is a new person, new situation, that's sort of triggering you about this old situation. But with the judgment, it's most likely the old situation making it's circling the block, right? But I think you're done, done. You're done, done. Ten of Swords is like expired. I should have been done this. And now that I'm done it, I'm not going back. I want new. I want new. This person or whoever, this is how it could have had you. Nine of Swords, right? Yeah. You're, you're done, done. Anxiety, sleepless nights. This could be someone that is coming towards you that's in this energy, or this could be the energy that it, it had you in up until you decided to be done, done. This is why you have, there's no feeling in your chest about not going back to this situation or mindset or place of living, whatever it is, it will be different for everyone. Some of you could have lost a hundred pounds. You're like, hell no. I ain't ever letting myself go there again. Like I have so much energy now. You know what I mean? Whatever. I moved from somewhere. I stopped being someone's friend. I broke up with somebody and like, I can clearly see that they were like, causing this energy in me and now that it's now that i've now that it's not in my life there's no way there's no way okay no way i'm i'm circling that block i already know what's down it so this whatever this conversation roll around is i think it's your time or your opportunity to put the nail in it finally caused you a lot of conflict this also could have been some sort of situation you know where there was a lot of competition someone was competing with you energetically real life whatever Caused you a lot of internal conflict, also a card of drama, always a lot of drama. You know, pettiness, you and with all that. You, and, you, you know, you like that balanced life. You like that peace and quiet. Also see the two of cups. For some of you, this, is, this was a, a romantic relationship, okay? Or someone that uh, at one point you felt very good about. Because two of cups can also represent like best friend bond, right? That bond you have with your best friend or like, you know, your brother you know like you guys have that love that unconditional love until it becomes okay unconditional love doesn't mean i have to put up with whatever it is you're throwing down future energy is the ten of cups high priestess major arcana for pisces energy yeah you you're trusting whatever your intuition tells you about anyone you're going to trust it from now on because probably you were getting the, the the you were seeing the flags but whatever this was was a two of cups sort of such connection right family member, friend, whatever it is, you had deep love for this person, unconditional love for this person. So, you know, but now that they're gone, you're at, you're at the 10. So even though the connection was a two, their absence has brought you to the 10 of cups. So no speaky, no, no talky. This is no, this is the computer says no, <laughs> no. The, 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 the divine said no. Like I checked in with my spiritual guides. I think there's a meme like that. I checked in with my spiritual guides and they said no. Like I can't, I'm sorry. Love and light to you. You might not even say all that because High Priestess is dead silent. Knows a lot but says very little. The High Priestess to me lately has been coming up like, um, what's the saying? If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, right? That's the High Priestess. Like if High Priestess was a quote, that would be the High Priestess. If you have nothing nice to say, shut your mouth, keep your mouth shut. Because you're just focused on what's new. Long-term emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups and uh, new exciting things. Things that are going to get your, your fancy tickled. What do we have for Leo? Two cards. Nothing will come of this situation. Luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius season could be important to some of you. Could be meeting someone because I did see two of cups and I did see the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy could be meeting a Sag or in Sagittarius season. There could be some sort of new connection that is rising for you. That's also Cupid's arrow for me. Also very heavy pregnancy energy for me. If that is something you're not interested in, do what you got to do. Nothing will come of the situation. Yeah. As I said, for most of you, this will be a no. 
you're not circling this block not today not tomorrow maybe in the next lifetime they might catch you off guard but not in this one you're in heavy high priestess mode the letter b and j could be important to you as well you are in heavy if it crawls walks i you know like no love and light to you but no Otter spirit, you are never alone. Number 42, which is a six. Yeah, some of you, this is opening and making space for real connections. Real give and equal give and take. You yoke, I yoke, I pour, you pour type of connections. Know your worth. Skunk spirit at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is what the lesson was. Could be know your worth. Not because you promise someone loyalty. You got to kill yourself in order to fulfill that. Right? All right, Leo, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. Your romance-specific reading is in the description box. See you all next week.